What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube and today we got a lot of things we're gonna do But I want to show you guys my garage real quick. I just finally got it all organized It was all over the place. We had so much stuff in here, but now it's finally organized. Let me show you guys So here are all my tires and these are gonna go back on the Mustang I'll tell you guys why I put these on right now. I got all my little extra stuff here parts for the car we got cleaning supplies here. And I don't know why I have so many spray paint cans, but I guess I've collected them over the years. Um, here are all the parts, fuel, everything I need, and uh, the boxes with parts there as well. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the dealer to pick up my O2 sensor. I told you one of them went out on this car and I ordered it, took two days to get here, but now it's ready to get picked up, so we're gonna hop in the Mustang and get going. Things right there. We're gonna go back here to the parts and go get the O2 sensor. Let's see. Alright, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna go in there, pick it up, and come out. So I just picked up the O2 sensor and now we are on our way to Lydia. And if you guys don't know who Lydia is, he's the owner of Alternative Auto. So we're gonna head out there to dyno the Mustang. And I'll tell you guys why I'm dynoing it and how much horsepower it made last time and how much I'm expecting now. So let's hit the road and get going. So we are about five minutes away. It is 82 degrees outside. So we're probably gonna need to cool the car down before we put it on a dyno. So I'll pick up the camera once we get there. So Lydia is gonna bring the car in here. It's looking good. 30, it's looking good. It's always cool to see someone else driving your car and kinda see how it looks. We're actually leaving. Um, I can't dyno the car right now, and I'll tell you guys why in just a second. Oh man. So basically, the dealership gave me the wrong O2 sensor. Like, I don't understand. I told them exactly the one that I wanted, and they said they were ordering that one, and then they ordered the wrong one. And the problem with this is he said he didn't have it in stock, so I'm going to go check other dealerships, see if they have them. Hopefully they have them so we could come back. This is a really, really busy week. I don't know when I'm going to upload this video, but I'm supposed to install my springs, install my front runners, and get the car wrapped all in this week because I'm getting it ready for a big car meet. And I have like no time or no room for anything to go wrong. And then this is going wrong, so... I'm gonna head to the dealership and we're gonna see, hopefully uh, they have it. And if they do, Lydia said I could come back and still get it dynoed, so we'll see what happens. So we're here at a different dealership. Um, I hope they have this part, so I don't have to order it and wait two more days because I'm really annoyed right now. I just need them to have this part already. Well, let's go in and see. So I just came out of the dealership. This dealership does not have it. So now I gotta drive 35 minutes to another dealership, grab it, then go back to Lidio. And then this part, I gotta return it at the same dealership I picked it up from. So a lot of running around to do, but we're gonna get it done. So I just got out of the dealership. I got the right one right here. And what the other dealer did is they gave me a passenger side. Even though I clearly told them it's the driver's side. They gave me the passenger side and now I gotta return it. This one was $156. The other one was $79. So it was a little bit more, it was almost double price. So I'm gonna return the other one at the dealership that I got it from. And we are back at Alternative. So now we're gonna take the Mustang and get it in there to put the O2 sensor out. Cause I told you guys that it was out and uh, we finally picked it up and now we're gonna get the car in there. So now we're gonna get the O2 sensor 
on the car. So I'm all done here and now we're gonna go to the dyno. So they're getting the car strapped down. So I want you guys to guess how much horsepower it's gonna make. Last time it made 471. We did the Catless mid pipes and we're gonna see how much power that gave it. And now let's get the dyno running. So right now he's gonna data log it to make sure everything is fine because we just put a new sensor in and uh, yeah. So he's gonna do that before uh, we run it. Alright guys, so that was the first pull. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think it ran. And now it's gonna get cooled down. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys some cars around real quick. Check out the Shelby. Get all the carbon fiber. <laughs> Look at the plate over 1k horsepower. I believe it's on 18s on the back. Let's check them out. These are Mickey's. Yep, they're 18s. And then matching fronts as well. Wow, this thing looks really good. You see a lot of Shelby's here. And I don't think I've seen this one before. I've seen the red one, but not this one. Look how the tires stick out. And then you come over here. Carbon fiber. And this black looks really good, honestly. It's simple, but aggressive and mean. We also got a white 18 that's getting a whipple. And then another Mustang. Another Mustang. And then we got a white track hawk. Again, a cat bat. All right, guys, so that's it for the cars. And by the way, that Shelby is Lydio's car. I didn't even notice it because he got a new plate and he just took it out of storage, so it hasn't been here. But that's Lydio's car. He also has the 5.0, that's like an eight second car. But anyways, now let's get back to the dyno. Let's get it. numbers so we're gonna pull it up now so that's from the last time it was here a few months ago so right there last time was 471 now it's 475 the torque was 420 now 429 you said what happened down low it, uh, it looks like it improved quite a bit more so down than what I'm gonna call mid-range show the, the number yeah. Of when it was you know, like uh, down low? For instance, at, like, if you pick this right around 3,000, it picked up approximately 29, 30 foot-pounds of torque, and then the horsepower in that region was about roughly yeah, about 15, 17-ish right in that area. Yeah, and then up top, it kind of almost remained the same, nothing well, too crazy. It's, it's up across the board yeah. overall, but it really gained under, under, under 4,500 where it really picked up the most. It's a little okay. peculiar to gain that much from the... Uh, high flow mid pipes or whatever you want to call yeah. it off-road. That's okay. pretty good. That's a real good number out of that car. Yeah, not not bad. even a long tune. Real good. Not bad. Yeah. So right now we're going to get some E85 and then we'll talk. Alright, we're getting some of that corn in here. 
So while the car is pumping, let's talk about the gain of horsepower this car made. So here's the sheet. As you can see, it was 471 before, it's 475, and then it gained 9 in torque. So the main change is right here. At about 4,500 RPMs, it gained about 17 wheel horsepower. It didn't gain too much up top, but down low, it gained about 15 to 17 wheel horsepower. I just want to run down the list of my mods. Very short list. JLT intake, mid pipes, no resonators, with an X pipe, tuned on E85. At the end of the day, it's an intake and E85 car. And as you guys can see, the car has been beating a lot of cars and it's been hanging with some really fast cars. But the main point of this car is to be a drag car that means at the track which is why we did a lot of performance on the suspension um the drag setup and all that is to see how fast it could go down the quarter mile that's the most important thing for me so i'm very excited to show you guys the car is almost done for us to be able to take it to the track and get some good runs in i hope you guys are excited and also on top of all that the car is getting wrapped. A lot of things are happening. This car is going to look absolutely amazing. It's going to get lowered. I'm just so excited for this car. So the plans for this car is to see how fast it will go down the track while it's naturally aspirated. See how much we can push it. And then the power adder will come. Maybe a turbo or a Whipple. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think I should get? Some turbos or a Whipple? Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys. So I'm back at the house washing cars. My friends are here, and uh, the reason why I'm detailing this car is because it's getting wrapped tomorrow, so I don't think the video will be ready to get posted tomorrow, but it will be wrapped tomorrow, which is why I'm cleaning it, detailing it, make sure it's nice. Alright guys, it is all done. Let me show you guys, it looks like a mirror. Whew. Look at that. Man, it looks so good. And now it's time to let you guys go. So if you guys made it all the way to the end of the video and you guys enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, smash the subscribe button. Turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with the videos and be part of the family. And I will see you guys on the next upload. Peace out.